life application. The patterns of the Bible are repeated to help us understand deeper spiritual truths. Things which are recorded in the Bible, which happened in the stream of time, in the physical creation, are used to point us to these spiritual truths. As you read the Bible, keep this in mind, and it will help open up seemingly obscure and odd passages to a fuller appreciation for the work of God in Christ. He just keeps, and it, it says it explicitly. He tells us that in the book of Ecclesiastes. He says it in 3.1, I'm sorry, 3.15 and... Uh, uh, three, one, nine. Anyway, he says, um, three fifteen. Uh, let me take you there. He says, um, that which has been will be again. That which has been done will be done again. And there is nothing new under the sun. That's right. And so let me take you there really quickly because he says it again a second time. And isn't it funny that my brain? Oh, I'm going the wrong way, Charlie. Always helps to. Song of Solomon comes after that. Okay, and then we'll go. All right, Ecclesiastes, and I want to make sure I quoted that properly for you. It says there in three fifteen that which is that which is has already been, and what is to be has already been, and God requires an account of what is past. And then in uh, where does he say this again? I think it's in chapter nine. Hang on a second here. Um, why can't I remember? He says it twice. And Burke's not here. Burke's not here, and he'd remember. You know, I, I ought to remember this and not. Uh, uh one nine is it one nine yeah one nine okay one i was thinking of nine one one nine and three fifteen one nine says that which has been is what will be that which is done is what will be done and there is nothing new under the sun everything repeats and especially in his word god does something and then he takes the same thing and he does it again and so you can make the connection between the physical and the spiritual. He gives you the story of Jacob and Esau, you know, fighting over a bowl of red soup for a reason, or actually not fighting over it, but, you know, one of them wanting it and him, you know, uh, he does that for a reason, okay? They're twins for a reason. The baby comes out of the womb with his hand on his brother's heel for a reason. Every single one of those things looks to something that happened in Christ. Every one of them. There's nothing in the Word that doesn't come into its you know its fuller and final picture in christ okay that which has been done will be done again so that's he's doing that so that we can think things through properly and if we're willing to stop and think things through okay 